Hi guys and welcome. My name is Bobby, if you don't already know. Uh, and I've got, well, somewhat of a tutorial this evening for you guys. Uh, I'll be going over this uh, Neo Geo CD emulator and uh, dealing with these IPL files. Um, there's a couple of people that I know of right now having problems. Uh, a screen keeps popping up saying there's no IPL file or whatever it can be found or whatever. Um, so I know if there's two people out there having a problem, I know there's like dozens of other people having the same problem. So, what did I do today? Uh, well, instead of taking something that doesn't work, trying to figure it out and making it work, well, I took something that already is working, <laughs> that's already working uh, on my way, and I actually tried to mess it up. Just try to get this IPL screen to pop up just just to find out what's going on with with you know you know trying to figure out the problem they're having so uh i come up with three scenarios guys i'm gonna, I'm gonna show you all three scenarios and i'm gonna show you how to work out all three scenarios so that's the first time guys i've actually done that i've actually tried to go in and mess something up Oh gosh, it's, it's, it's crazy, it's funny, but um, at the same time, I'm still trying to, it's still working, so, you know, trying to get something working, I mean, even though I'm messing something up, I, I'm messing it up to figure out what's going wrong with them, so it, it's actually the same thing, I think, well, I don't know. I'm just confused with myself, anyway, uh, let's get right down to it, guys, uh, now, uh, well, I, I do want to mention one thing. Uh, the one guy in particular mentioned that the emulator, when, when he goes into the emulator, uh, the BIOS does come up. The BIOS does run. Uh, but after the BIOS, uh, there's a screen that says no IPL or, or something or another uh, pops up. So, uh, guys, what that tells me is the emulator is working. The BIOS is working. It, it's in the it's in the correct uh, location, so no problem there. Uh, where the problem lies, guys, is the game directory, pretty much. So there is the problem right there, and so we're going to work it out, and uh, that's what this video is all about. So let's jump over to the Wii guys and let's get started, shall we? Uh, let's get this thing going. All right. Okay guys, uh, so this is what I decided to do, uh, scenarios one and two I decided to put together, uh, because there's no sense in going back and rebooting into this emulator twice like that. Uh, now the third time I've got to because, well, it's a little different, so I'm going to go ahead and boot into this Geo Geo CD emulator. Uh, now this will happen with uh, scenarios one and two, the same thing. As you can see our BIOS is booted up, uh, so that tells us right there that uh, it's in the right location or right directory, so that's good, no problems there. And there's the famous no IPL uh, screen. <laughs> Press A to continue. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna hop on over to the computer, guys, and uh, show you uh, those two scenarios uh, I, that I come up with. There could be more out there, but uh, I'm just gonna show you those two, uh, along with the third one after 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 these two. All right, so let's go on over to the computer. Okay guys, uh, so our first scenario here, we're going to open up our hard drive here. And uh, first thing you need to make sure uh, that you have is a folder here on the root of your flash drive or hard drive called Neo CD, which we do. It's no problem. Uh, so, so what is the problem? Well, we'll open it up and wow, okay, there's the problem. 
no zip files guys uh, this has to be extracted uh, we have to take well I do have a tutorial out on how to do this but uh, all these WAV files here should be converted over to an mp3 file and put into an mp3 folder and then this archive here should also be extracted outside of the mp3 folder inside of a game folder and uh, these are the uh, files within it I do have a game here on the uh, desktop here uh, this is called Fatal Fury this is the game folder within the game folder I've got all my files here extracted from our archive and then I uh, have my mp3 folder with, with all my mp3 files and they're also renamed so this is what it's supposed to look like guys it ain't supposed to be zipped up or anything like that archive or anything should be extracted so that was scenario one there no zip files guys okay so what we need to do we just go ahead and delete that now our scenario number two uh... let's rename this hmm. okay we go to rename a folder here DOCD uh... D D O C D. okay alrighty we're ready to go right well not exactly uh... we do have DLCD but as you can see it has a space uh... what we need if, if you go into this folder here this is what i downloaded uh, it's got the app and all kinds of goodies in there. Uh, it has the BIOS in there. But this is the folder, guys, where you put your games at. And this is what it should be named. Um, as you can see, uh, it's not supposed to have any kind of space in there whatsoever. It's supposed to be DOCD. So what we need to do, rename. Go in here. And just put them together just like that. And then within that, fo uh, that folder, you have all your games and all of them extracted and all that good, good stuff. And you should be ready to go. Alright. So, uh, scenario number one, no zip files. Scenario number two, when you name your folder, no spaces, guys, whatsoever. No spaces. Alright. Now, we'll head on to uh, scenario number three. Uh, this is something that's, uh, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of frustrating. Uh, well, you'll see. Here we go. Well, what I'm going to do, well, anyway, let, let's go to the Wii and I'll show you. All right. Alright guys, so we, now we're going to check out scenario number three. Uh, now as you recall on the computer earlier, uh, we did have our folder uh, on the root of our hard drive, which is correct. Uh, it was named DOCD, no spaces, which is correct. Also we had all our games um, inside that folder extracted, uh, uh, converted correctly, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so, guys, we are good to go. Uh, we're going to boot right up into this DOGO CD emulator here. And see about playing a game. I hope. Alright. So, again, there's our BIOS. Working perfectly. And doggone if that screen don't pop up again. No IPL. Press A to continue. Everything, guys, is in the correct location. Uh, all the directories are correct. Uh, but the emulator is still not seeing our games. So that tells me there that according to the emulator, our games are not in the correct directory. Which 
I get it tells me that it's trying to read probably off the SD card. Uh, so in order to get to the settings, well, you have to boot into a game actually and to actually get into the settings because uh, you have to boot into a game and then you have to exit the game and then you have the options to go into settings. So, so how are we going to do that? Well, let's go over to the computer, guys, and we'll we'll see what we can do. All right. Okay, guys. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, since we are having a directory problem with the uh, emulator and the hard drive, uh, it's wanting to evidently read off the SD card. So we're going to give them a game on the SD card. How about that? So what we're going to do. We're going to go into our SD card and we're going to create a folder called Neo CD. Alright? And uh, we're going to grab. Now, this is all temporary, guys. Just temporary. Uh, we're going to, let's just grab this game here. We're just going to copy it. Don't cut it. Just copy it. Just paste it in there. So yeah, uh, all this on the SD card that we're creating is just totally temporary. Uh, we just want to be able to boot that game up, guys, and get into the settings to change it, uh, our, the storage, uh, to be uh, the USB, not, not the SD card. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Okay, so there's our game, guys, and we got the folder there on the root of our SD card. So uh, let's head on back over to the Wii, and let's let's get this thing fixed up, shall we? All right, guys. Uh, so we're gonna give Neo Geo CD what it wants. Okay, it wants a game on the SD card. We're gonna give you a game on the SD card. How about that? All right, we'll go in there. Start it on up. <clears throat> Alright, so there's our game, guys, on our uh, SD card. Uh, so that's what it was. Uh, it was wanting to read uh, games off the SD. So what we want to do is go down here. Uh, just hit your A button on your Wii Remote to boot it up. kind of crazy you have to actually go into a game exit the game to get into the settings it, that just doesn't make any sense to me I, I don't know if I'm missing something or what but uh, once it loads up just simply hit your home button on your Wii remote and that'll bring this screen up <clears throat> just scroll down to settings and hit your number two button and go down to storage as you can see, uh, it says current device SD card. Uh, that's not what we want, guys. We want to load from the USB, so we're going to hit the number 2 button. And we're simply going to go back. And then hit your number 1 button to go back again. And then go to exit. Alright. Now, what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to go right back into uh, the audio CD. And let's we'll see if it pops up all of our games. How about that? Okay. See if we're in luck, guys. See if we're in luck here. Hey, guys, as you can see, uh, yeah. This is all my games on my uh, hard drive. Uh, I'm supposed to have like maybe 90, 90 something games and uh, looks to be so. So that's it guys. Uh, let me go into a game here and uh, we'll see. Let's say like Alpha Mission or something. We'll hit the A button to go into it. I just love using my GameCube controller. Uh, with the uh, Neo Geo CD. Yeah, 
And there we go. That tells you right there, guys, that uh, we're good to go, pretty much. So, uh, and there we are. <clears throat> We've got our game working on our USB hard drive. So, okay guys, I uh, hope this really helped you guys out. Uh, if you have any more questions or whatever like that, run into any more problems or whatever, uh, just leave a comment below guys and I'll you know, get him back to you. No problem guys. <clears throat> so, I'm going to end this tutorial now guys. Uh, I'm going to spend the rest of my night. I'm going to Watch me a movie and uh, relax, take it easy, and that's, that's it. Alright, so I'll see y'all guys later. Y'all just let me know if you have any more problems. Alright, I'll be signing off.